As you can see, we're at a tunnel. That's pretty cool. This is a sick train track adventure, as you guys can see right there. Welcome back to another train track trek video. I am joined here again with Dry and Tim. Um, they are my train track walkers because. Oh. Ow. I can my back too. Oh, so we will be walking on the Mornington Railway again because uh, it is a fun trains railway. Trains are not running today, but you never know. Oh, look, we've already got a sleeper right here. A remnant, beautiful sleeper that is in half. That's not very nice. No. Little termites. Yeah, it's probably been termited. I wonder where it came from. Maybe it came from a track. I'm not quite sure. So, uh, we are going to walk all the way from Mornington to Murdoch in the span of probably two hours. So, let's go. So, as you can see, there is a split rail here. Um, and it turns back into there, which turns into one single track. The tracks do, they used to go all the way past there, but it's now a tourist railway. If you've watched my previous video, um, not my previous one, one of my previous videos where I walked on these tracks, um, you will see it. So on the last video, the trains were running and we got a nice clip of it. Um, now the trains aren't running, but still an adventure for you guys to watch. If you enjoyed the last video and you want me to walk on other train tracks, any other train tracks, the child's dummy right there. Hello. Goodbye. I'm going to be behind. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, I should try a YouTube channel. Yes. I've already got like 21 subscribers on my I had like a hundred of my last one. Oh, yeah. some stuff. I've never actually walked on this side. So, usually I always walk on this side of the tracks. Um, because I always do. So now I'm just going to walk on these sides because I've never actually found out anything that could be f cool on these side of the tracks. For some reason, all these rocks are like kind of dark and there's a slate on they are on their phones over there i am going to be walking uh, the tracks um so these tracks go from mornington to murdoch uh this is the mornington station as you can see right there um and they go all the way to murdoch walk on these tracks with us let us know uh yeah still walking on the train tracks obviously <laughs> uh, we've got a little signal up there as you guys can see, beautiful little signal. And the second set of train tracks. Yeah, the signal's broken. Um, doesn't work because they don't even need it anymore. So that's probably why. But yeah, you can move it. If it's bro it's broken, they don't need it. You could probably move it. Woo. Put it, oh, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now there are a bunch of concrete sleepers here, which I don't know why. It's, it's just a bunch of random concrete sleepers. Wires for the turn track just up here. Yeah, these will get cleaned once the trains run again because there's like sandpaper underneath the trains carriages. So that kind of just gets all the rust off since the trains haven't run for three days now. Uh, they're just starting to rust a little bit, but they'll be nice and shiny. Uh, on Sunday. Uh, should I try turn this thing? No, I'm too weak. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a little bit moving. Yeah. Really hard to turn. I mean, we're turning like metal steel with our arms, so what do you expect? But yeah, we tried. Really love the different colored rocks. Like, you got a bit of orange rocks, gray rocks. Okay. Drive's filming a channel for his video, video for his channel. I'll put it up on the screen. What's good, guys? So, you just found a nice big M bottle right there? Yeah, we found a nice big M bottle. All right. Uh, yeah. That's boys, the, the boys are filming a YouTube video. An abandoned signal post right here, as you guys can see. Right, Very guys, abandoned signal post. Very old. 
15 kilom kilometers an hour sign that is pieced by taggers. And we are almost at a bend, as you guys can see right there. It is a sick train track adventure, as you guys can see right there. Actually, like little walking tracks up here, as you guys can see, for people to walk on. Got some dogs. And we are still walking on the train tracks. Um, so little facts, these train tracks were made in 1888, were used for V-line services, um, and then it closed down in 1981. Um, oh no. And then um, reopened in 1993 or eight, and became the tourist railway, the Mornington Tourist Railway. Just mentioned this, the uh, rails, as you can see, are pretty rusty. That's because the trains have not been run. Um, once the trains run again, the rust will be off. Was uh, I thought that was an old sleeper, but it's just a piece of wood. Let's yeah. watch my uh, last walking on train track video. You would have noticed that uh, um, the, a train just came around here. It wasn't here, it was just a little bit up. But yeah, a train came, so pretty cool. Fence there has been pieced by some taggers. And the shit tags. This is where the train came around last time, just up there. Um, so yeah, boys are filming YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. For real. Railway. Trains that run on here are a K163 steam train, a T411 diesel train, and I think a T334 diesel train as well. The walk will be about two hours to Murdoch, two and a half to Mackers. And there are metal sheeting here. And there is nothing under there. Just a spare metal sheet. The railway, the railway was made in 1888, and then shut down in 18, 1981. Reopened in 1983. Became the Mornington Tourist Railway. Construction site that will probably be factories in about two years. This is that will be all factories. More pieces slash tags on the fence. Got a C sign with 10Ks. Uh, yeah. Not really a fact, but just something, to, you know, just something to say. Uh, if you ever think that they need to maintain the bushes when they overgrow, they won't need to maintain the bushes even if they overgrow because the train will just come through and just cut all those bushes. They fall into the middle of the tracks, eventually blow away. So they never actually have to maintain the bushes unless it's getting pretty high and you can't see the train if you're on the side or you can't see the train anywhere apart from if you're walking on the tracks, you'll be able to see it because it'll be right in front or behind you. Up to a level crossing, but this isn't actually a level crossing crossing, like a level level crossing. This is actually just a, uh, this is like a cyclist uh, level crossing for cyclists, as you can see right there. Uh, so like a level crossing for people things here it says trains may run at any time even though they only run on sundays and sometimes saturdays national railroad safety laws prohibitive passing in this corridor you guys can read that if you want i'll give you a couple of seconds to read that okay um and no public access so these train truck bolts and rails and even sleepers would have been at least 50 to 30 years old um I think at least 30, I reckon 40 years old, uh, 40 years old would be. Except that, they cannot because these are two rails joined together. Well, you can unscrew the bolt. Yeah, but you know. Yeah. Rails, we've got a abandoned oh, rail in here. So that's how thick and big rails are. I mean, you can tell when you're actually on the train track. As you can see, that's the size of a train track. My hand just wraps around it. Another train track. We'll also do a time lapse until something interesting happens or we get to that level crossing. Time lapse is paused for a little bit because I've got to document 
I can't, I guess, document this, as you can see. Uh, it's not meant to say anything, it's just there to let people, like the train conductors know that they're coming up to this area. Um, and that's made out of train track that has been spray painted, but, or just painted, but the paint is kind of rusting off. I think um, this side is supposed to alert the drivers that there's like a little cross yeah. thing coming yeah. up to, to hook the horn or something. Uh, yeah, so that's made out of train track, that white piece. Take us at least two hours to get to Murdoch, two and a half to get to McDonald's on Peninsula Link. It takes about two and a half hours to walk to Murdoch, whole track, uh, apart from the abandoned section. Yeah. There we go. It's about 6.5 k's in distance. Did he land it? Yeah, he landed it. Fresh can because that just looks fresh. It's empty, but fresh can. There's a McDonald's playground at somebody's house. And there's Tim. You. The train last time, uh, just down here. It was at the Tanty station. There's more fag bexes over there. Hang on. More fag bexes over there tagging on um, the signs. Got Tim, he is filming. Jai's filming and I'm filming. Another sign made out of old train track that's probably been there for 40 years. 30 to 5 to 40 years that's been there for. Two favourite sounds of a train track trucker. Being a train track trucker is the sound of walking on rocks. Listen to this. And the sound of a steam train whistle. We are pulling up to a level crossing, just got a bit more walking, and then we are at the station just over there as well. Me just found my tripod in my bag, so I put the camera on it, and I have a tripod to hold on to now. Say hi to my camera. <laughs> pulling up to the next station. Uh, this isn't actually a station that runs. It is actually... <laughs> Runs uh, is actually just like kind of it used to be uh, running in about three years ago uh, Maybe t I think two years ago 2020 um, But now it's just like they don't use it unless they don't use a station Unless you have a ticket ticket and you're on it or it's like a special day like Christmas or Easter or Halloween uh, may Maybe not Halloween maybe just like Easter or Christmas um, or one of the train's birthdays, or the Mornington Railway, the actual railway's birthday, they might do that. Some more pieces over there. The station that is right in front of me is called Tanty Station Number One. Tanty Station Number Two, or the second Tanty Station, is just in front of the level, in front of me, after the level crossing film it but we cross the level crossing there is tanty station rides if we go over to the train rides this is where they signal the lights for the level crossing right there looking up to it right now this is tanty station number two uh, so this is the tanty station where they will drop you off if they find out you don't have a ticket for the train and um, they'll probably drop you off here and you'll have to go walk back to Murdoch to get to your car or call an Uber. The station is actually higher than Tanty, the main Tanty, even though it doesn't be used anymore. But yeah, it's just slightly higher than the first one. So yeah. And Tim are walking off into the distance. I am here with the camera. Say there is a misplaced metal piece of something. Got some trouble chops, lollipops. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay, we are now at this bend. Yeah. Um, bit of a ruined sleeper here. That's completely screwed. But okay.
path goes like from there down to here and then to around the train tracks and then the path continues going over there old smith's curly cut fries chips whatever so normal train track bolt and they've done their own they've like redone their own train track bolt right there as you can see it's pretty cool train tracks um and what's really annoying is that most train tracks always have the thorn bushes they're always built where thorns grow and it's really annoying because not that you get prickled but if they do overgrow you're walking in thorns oh you're right yeah so think peek of what our next youtube video might be like we're gonna probably gonna go to the hastings train tracks track those it's all abandoned i've watched a youtube video about it oh, um actually, some do operate some do operate i've seen a youtube video about it it's really good and then we'll probably do queenscliff train tracks as well this whole railway is owned by vic track which is the government um but the Mornington Tourist Railway rents it off them for a fee and they do like their own maintenance and stuff. Um, so yeah, pretty much owned by the government. All right, pretty old golden pass juice box. Another train track uh, signal thing. Uh, not signal thing, sorry. Just like sign. That's made out of train track. You can see here obviously this is a good idea but a dumb idea because they don't really need it but if you are here and a train comes you can just go to the side here um but it's also that so that the rocks don't just fall down that hill from the rattle and just weight of a train going across this but yeah i mean you could just run down there obviously but it's cool a woolen they're not wooden, like a fabric bag right there for some reason. One day, if you guys love these YouTube videos and you want to see more, I'll like, I wouldn't travel around the whole world, but I'll travel around like the world going to train tracks that you want me to trek or just train tracks that I want to walk on. Um, so, you know, if this entertains you guys enough and you like it, you subscribe and all that, I'll go around everywhere. For now, this is just a channel based in Victoria where we just go around well, mainly me and a group of friends um, go around exploring train tracks. So yeah, got another level crossing for people. Um, you know, you're riding a bike or something or walking. Nice walk on the train tracks to the other side. And yeah, we gotta walk all that now. Last video that sleeper was there, and same with that one. Just thought I'd mention it again because it's been there ever since we started walking on these trucks. So it's been it's been there for a while. A train track sign right there. That's fully black, that one too. And um, Tim, I can't even uh, see him now. Train track. And um, Tim's disappeared. Yeah, I can't even see Tim anymore. All right, maybe we should just leave him. I guess he's gone. This time I went here, that massive playground in that person's backyard was not there. <laughs> and why have they got a massive playground in their backyard? I don't know. Ask me. There's Tim. Is he far away? He's just there. You can see his white shirt. Oh, there. It's just going to scare Go under here and scare Tim as he's walking on the train tracks. Because there are actually trenches down here. I'll show you guys them. Look at that. All that down there. I, saw, I just saw Tim's head. Okay, I'll get behind this tree. I'm under the trenches. Tim must have passed us, so we're gonna go scare him. Ow! He is, there he is. Let's go scare him. There he is. Oi! <laughs> Did we get you? The little like tunnel thing and then we just popped out Ooh. we just popped up yeah oh. we just cut down from the path and rode a level crossing so yeah yeah all right guys we're at a level crossing 
at our Emil Madison Reserve. That's the footy reserve just over there. And we're at this level crossing. We're gonna cross this and turn that corner and we'll be able to see Murdoch Station. We are crossing, as you can see right now, guys. Tim, hop, Tim! Don't go, don't go, don't go. Now go. Yeah, Tim's crossing. We've got some plastic sleepers right here. Plastic? Plastic. This bit now, step closer to Murdoch. Yep. Let's go. Don't know why, but this sleeper is spray painted slightly. Somebody didn't finish their job, did they? No. So that is another piece of train track, but that is also a defunct power pole. So that's cool. I actually really love, I really love the train tracks with just the defunct power poles on the side. Just makes it a little bit better. A little game we do whenever we're here. If you guys want to walk on these train tracks with us, or you guys are, try this game. Oh. I think if you hit the end of the tire, it just bounces out. There we go. Oh. A tree that has fallen down and is now kind of cut, because look at that smooth cut. Beautiful. And probably a snake hut. Snakes would most likely live in there. Uh, rail here, this isn't made out of train track, this one. There's just a pole, and it looks pretty brand new as well, so. Yeah, we found another railway right here. Rella Drive Railway Crossing sign thing. This thing is, see how it's connected to the uh, train track? When a train goes over here, it sends signals through here and then tells the people up there to turn the lights on. Yes, yeah, so it's basically like a... Just yeah, a signal. Yeah. Train parked in Muradoc Station, as you guys can see just down there. We are almost at our destination. Another signal. This one actually works, as you can see. It is running. Well, not running, but it, it's action. It's been redone because it used to be pretty old and abandoned. But, yeah. So, this is the next station. It looks so far away on camera, but like, it's actually really close. But yeah. The hole to hell. Oh, never mind. Here? It's not here. It didn't get patched in, I swear. No, there's gotta be another one. So, there is the train. I'm currently peeking through the fence, but there is a T411 diesel train, a W, um, something, and a T334. I think it might be a W334 and a T something else, but yeah, there are the diesel trains and stuff in there. And there is a K163 steam train. We've just got to walk down here. Trains run every Sunday, um, and sometimes Saturdays, but definitely every Sunday, sometimes Saturday. If it's expressive. So if it's like a um, special event, it will run Saturdays and other days, but most days it will just run Sunday. It's the tracks in there. And we're just walking here. There are some carriages that they will eventually screw off their platform, tip over and burn. There, my favorite thing. There's a K163 steam train. And there is called a high beamer. Um, what they do is they if they need to maintain the track and just go around and make sure it's all good, they just take one of those little things out. And yeah, usually they are cars, um, but this one is just like an actual kind of truck thing. T411 in there. Go. Okay, guys. Yeah, here's some coal for the K163. Still weird because I still have all this coal. They hardly use the K163, which is a disappointment. Uh, it's not abandoned, they use it. Uh, just not that often, it's recently had repairs. So they're just like kind of still getting it like ready for the actual running because it, it's just been recently repaired but yeah you can see the train that is a diesel train t411 that's a t-class diesel train it's actually unhooked for some reason so yeah okay guys it's right there is the t411 the most the most used in victoria yeah, but it's, it's used in um, pastings as well it's it's the vr brand that is used in victoria yeah the most but yeah, that's the most used train for this railway. And it, as, I don't know why, but it's uncoupled from the carriages for some reason. I'm only walking on old sleepers that just go around. I never actually realized this. They just go around the station. Old little sleepers. These are old because they've had tracks in them. Because uh, you can see the plate line. So they actually have been used. Marudok station. You can see that. Economy train is newer because it's an economy. It, it's when the tracks open, you can go on that bridge. It's a back carriage as well. Got a 75 foot long turntable. 
Uh, it's not in use because it is abandoned. But yeah, that used to be a running turntable. Just stop there. So yeah, it's a 75 foot long turntable. Come on, this is a 73 foot long turntable. I just realized that. It is sore. Um, see, they have not paved over these rails yet. Um, usually when a line is abandoned, they pave with the rails. But see how these rails are completely shiny? That's because cars run over it every day. This section of the track is now abandoned. So we'll be walking for the abandoned line for a little bit to Peelink. And then probably to Baxter and back. Right, we are walking on the abandoned section now. Wait, um, we're not going to walk in the abandoned section right there. No. Oh shit. I'll see you when we're at Macca's. We have arrived at Macca's. So we're gonna get some food as a little stop and then we're going to walk to uh, Baxter and then back from Baxter to Peelink and then get picked up and that will be the end of our journey. We're going to get fat on Macca's. Woo -hoo. Yeah, we're gonna go walk the track soon. Our food is here. Now we're gonna go hit the tracks. Burger. So you know, hamburgers now walking on the P-Link Trail. Um, there's Macca's just behind us, and the train track is now abandoned, as you know, but uh, it just keeps on going. So yeah, got it. That's a bit weird. We just got to cut through here. Right. Man, there we are. Out. We are at the tunnel, as you guys can see can see we're at a tunnel that's pretty cool now we are under the peninsula link highway so that's pretty cool i'm under a car right now we're gonna press on and start heading to baxter so as you know he's filming a tiktok as you know i'm a huge fan of train tracks and trains and just walking on the train tracks. Like, when I say I'm a huge fan of train tracks, what I really mean is I'm a huge fan of walking on them. I'm also a huge fan of the trains. Um, yeah. I've been on this side of the tunnel, so. Yeah. Well, it's a bit thorny, so you might just jump to the side. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should just jump to the side, honestly. No, no, but there's some gaps through here. Yeah. Let's go through the gaps. So I have to jump to the side just up there though, as you guys can see, that's pretty thorny. Why is so Sorry that these train tracks are definitely abandoned. As you can see it's all overgrown. So we're gonna have to walk even this bit's overgrown. We're gonna have to walk on here. Until hey, can you send me some videos for my Yeah. No, Tim kind of left. Tim stopped at Maruduk. Yeah, he stopped at Maruduk Station and was like, I'm just going to get picked up here. And yeah, he kind of he kind of left. Yeah. Okay. Back on the tracks just for a little bit. Probably going to get thorny again very shortly, but... You know? I feel like walking on abandoned tracks where it's just covered in thorns isn't as entertaining, though. Ooh, what the fuck is that caterpillar? Look at this caterpillar. Holy crap. That's also one of the poisonous ones. It probably is. Um, okay, we're gonna have to jump over the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that wasn't really jumping, honestly. That was just a big so step. Like I know. I've been sleeping over at mate's houses, so I've been wearing the same stuff for ages. Okay. I'm sorry for standing on that tree, but I kind of have to. Ah! Yeah. Ow, you poo face. <sighs> we can make it past you, I reckon. A thorn. Uh, we'll get a stick and take it off. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> Ow, I just slipped. Oh, okay, it's off, it's off. Oh, oh, Sash. Oh. 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 Yeah, okay. Oh, it's in my jumping Okay, this bit's nice and chill now. This bit's okay. Oh. Look at the rest of this bit, it's so nice. I'm not gonna be filming as much now. Like I'm not gonna film as much detail now because the video's probably already been so long, so. 
yeah, on the abandoned section, I'll just film some cool things and stuff like that. So, this bit is actually really nice. A little bit of thorns here, but then it gets nice and good. Yeah. I've got tons of spider webs on me, though. Look at all, yeah, this is like the Hastings track. The photo they took. The what? This might be the photo they took. Nice. Nah, this is really good. I wonder why no thorns are here, unless they just don't grow here, which is good. Look at all that, those trees though, like, they're kind of brand new, but they're all chopped up. Yeah, I think, I think they look, had a look around here mm. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I, I do miss the wooden pieces, like the sleepers in the middle, but at least there's no thorns. This room. Purple mushroom. Should we pick them with a stick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, English road, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh my, that's so easy. We can see a piece of wood there. Oh, it looks like it's been covered. Yeah, it's just covered in. Look, ready? Oh, yeah, wood right here. That's rocks. Okay. Wood right here. That's rocks. Oh. Yeah, there. Yeah. Another sleeper, which is good to see. I'm missing these things. Oh. There's more down here. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh. sleeper. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Another one? Another one? There's another one, but I can't see it. Another one here? Should be another one here. Should be another... I can see that one. Should be another one here. 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 Here, here. I can see it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The thorns are growing back, though. That means... Another one here? You know what some guy did? Mm -hmm. So there was like an extra one, like a bunch of thorns. Mm -hmm. One got stuck on his foot, tripped over, the thorn went straight through his eye. Oh! It was so painful. I can, I like, you know, one of the thorns, of thorn like thingies, mm. two of them went through his eye. Oh, fuck. I think that's the new eye. I got my safety goggles on then. Yeah. We're pulling up to a tree. Oh yeah, there's no thorns. It's just a, just a tree, so that's pretty good. Yeah, easy. Go around or duck under it. Thank God there's no... I thought there was going to be more thorns than I was thinking. There's less thorns than I was thinking. I thought yes, there was going to be more. Okay, hang on. There's a massive spider web there. I'm just going to get it down with my foot. Okay, we did the tree. Yeah. And, oh, actually, it's not bad. It's pretty good. The tree, but it's pretty easy. So, the main adventure has kind of ended. Because um, since this is all abandoned, we can find things. But not as much as a train track that's still running. You never know, you never know. So yeah, I'm going to pause the video before the camera dies. So I'll film when, I'll keep on filming, but only when like something I need to tell or show you. So we decided to turn back because it was getting too thorny. I'm bleeding. If you guys can see right there. It's not much, but you know, I got that much blood from a thorn means you got cut pretty bad. Dry is bleeding as well, so. We're walking back now. We're just gonna have to leave. <laughs> this is too messed up. So yeah, thanks you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video, which probably will be Hastings. So yeah.